Well, how do there, chums? Seems that my camera took a tumble. Oh, well, that does not matter. It does not matter a jot. It does, actually, because it's fallen on my joints pad and now I've got to get it without making a noise. <laughs> you probably heard the noise. Anyways, I've got myself a cup of tea, people, inside of you of us. I guess I do. In my merch mug today. That's a good cup of tea. Good cup of tea. Very nice. Anyhow, I'm inside of a no man's sky, as you can tell people, and I'm on my white grassed lost planet. Now, the nice thing about this planet is it's got caves, and it's got some pretty nice little elements of flora on here. Not that I've overly shown you either. And to be honest, I haven't ventured in either. It's also got some large mountains, which I haven't ventured to the top of. So would it be different on top of the mountains? Well, look, you can see the nexus through the cloud line. That's pretty darn cool. Anyways, so firstly, I'm going to go and invest them and gate a cave. There's one over here. So let's go into that cave. Let's go and have a quick look and see if there's anything good inside of said cave. OK, well, that's a little bit weird. Uh, maybe I've got multiplayer turned on, but I lost a, a few sort of... Oh, dear. I lost a few frames there, didn't I, people? Well, let's head inside the cave first. And let's do a little bit of investigation of the cave. Lovely. And we're heading in. Now, this is quite a deep cave, isn't it? There we go. Heading on in. Wow, well, this doesn't look like a normal cave. It's got outside flora on the inside, people. Pretty darn cool, eh? Random. It's even got the, the blue gems in here. Iridium, whatever it is. Okay, and pumpy plants. This is like a whole ecosystem inside of said cave. Anyway, what I was going to say, people, is when you go inside of caves and things like that, there's very rarely as awesome as this. And when you go in there, you do find some different sorts of plants and some different sorts of um, sort of terrain inside of caves. Holy fudge, this is awesome. But it's very rare you come across something as great as this. Here we go. Here's a proper cave mouth over here where you can see all the cobalt. So let's head on over to where the cobalt is. So this is what the cave on this planet should look like. And what I'm thinking is to encourage people to go into caves a little bit more and to do a little bit more investigation inside of caves. They could do with adding in some new sort of cave fauna like bats or slugs that even crawl up the walls. You know, we know that they can put in creatures that can crawl up walls. We've got them on derelict freighters. So why not add in some slug creatures that are bioluminescent, maybe some snail-like creatures inside of caves, all sorts of cave-based fauna. I mean, we've got underwater fauna. Caves are classed as a completely different biome set. I can't see why they couldn't apply a couple of new fauna types that only appear in caves, which would encourage a little bit of more cave Cave exploration is where I'm going with this, people. But this planet's awesome for caves. Heck yes, I'm glad I dived into that. But yeah, I'm just thinking of things that they could add to caves to make things a little bit more interesting. Now, I want to get to the top of a mountain, but to be honest, I can do the same thing down here and just pretend I've reached the top of the mountain. So, say if I was on the top of that mountain peak over there, so let's go into camera mode. Okay, so if I manage to get all the way up to the top of there, Obviously, I'm going to be able to see for swathes around the whole landscape if I'm at the peak of a mountain. So maybe if you pop your scanner at the top of a mountain like so, boom, rather than it pop up all this sort of stuff, maybe it acts almost like you've popped a cartography map. It zooms up into the air and it highlights about six different places of interest. Maybe a relic, maybe a secure site, maybe a habitable site, maybe one of each, you know? So because you've gone to the top, you've took the effort to get to the top of the mountain, you've popped a scan from there, you get a wide area radius on your map that pops up some places of interest. I think that really helped with exploration, encourage people to climb to the top of a mountain and see more of the planet, and also maybe uncover things for them to do and maybe progress the game a little bit quicker. What do you think of that idea, people inside the viewerverse? Now, something that this planet also has is these little flowers. Okay. Now, a lot of the time, you just run straight past these, pay them no notice at all, but look how beautifully crafted they are. The reason you run past them is you try scanning them. Look, they don't even show up on the poxy scanner. You can't scan them. They've got no use whatsoever. However, there's some commodities that you can only buy in space stations, like star silk and things like that for making chairs. 
but maybe if you scan if they were scannable sometimes it might say this contains a rare breed of caterpillar that can spin up star silk would you like to capture said caterpillar and maybe we can put them in jars put them on shelves and then back at bases we can extract the star silk from the caterpillar you know there could be all sorts of commodities maybe you might come across a little beetle on there this is a dung beetle it produces dirt yeah and the same thing put it in a jar put it on a shelf lovely jubbly you can create your own dirt in small quantities but then again you don't really need it for much apart from making dyes and things to dye your creatures if you ever bother using the actual creature sort of enhancer to make creatures a different color which yeah i, I do occasionally in fact i've got an awesome little pet creature that i ra rarely bring out into the into the fray where is he um dun, dun, dun. next page boom this little guy, Kit Stevie, is very cool. Have they made it so you can't actually see the images of your uh, set two? There we go. There he is. Boom. Where is he? Come on, little guy. He is awesome. There he goes. Haha, <laughs> there he is. Brilliant. Yeah, I made him red, and that was using dirt. Come on, little guy. Look at him go. Brilliant. Awesome. He's so cute. Anyway, people. I think that's pretty much all I've got for you. So there's there's three ideas there. I think they need to add in some actual cave fauna. But maybe even add in some things that you get from the cave fauna that you don't get from other creatures. Maybe add in a few recipes. Make it sort of worth your while going there. Perhaps whatever you spin into nanites that you do from cooking from recipes from cave creatures gives you a bit of yield. Um, and then also from the top of mountains, if you pop a scan, it pops up a few places of interest. And the last one was, uh, you know, make it so you can scan little mini plants on planet surfaces and maybe get yourself some creatures and things. In fact, I've done an ideas video on this some time ago. I'm fairly sure I did anyway. I put a link in the top right hand corner over there. Go hit that one up if I did. I, I'm fairly sure I did. Anyway, people, what do you think of those ideas? Let me know if you think they're good. Just free ideas just to help people go into caves, explore a bit in caves go to the top of mountains and also look around a little bit more at the planets at how beautiful some of these plants are that actually feature upon the planets i really wish we could scan them i'd like to see their sort of background about these sort of plants i mean i'm looking at them again right now and look i've even found some little pink ones on this planet as well with the actual pink grass well the white grass these little sort of pinky orangey ones really sort of stand out you know, and they're beautiful. They're really nicely done. But like I say, I just run past these because they've got no use. They've got no rhyme or reason. But they could add a little bit more depth and exploration in, in cataloging the actual foliage, especially if they had micro fauna on them, which I think is quite a lovely idea. Anyway, people, I'm going off on one, which I'm, I'm repeating myself now. So, yeah, anyway, take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.